What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Jay Spikes, and I'm back, baby, with another video. Ooh-wee. What go down? What go down? All my subscribers, man. All my new subscribers. Welcome in the channel, man. Welcome to the team. Welcome to the family, baby. OG, y'all let them know what go down. It go down over here. You see how? Ooh, it goes down over here. You know what I'm talking about? It goes down. So, man, hey, man, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Click that notification bell. Man, make that make that notification bell turn great so you won't miss anything your boy ever got coming to you, man, because it go down over here in the front yard game, baby. It goes down. So make sure you tune in, lock in, and join the team, man. You know what I'm talking about? And, uh, man, um, hey, man, if you like any of the content you ever watch or the video you're watching now, the video you, videos you're going to watch in the future, man, make sure you hit that thumbs up for your boy, man. And if you got any questions, comments, or opinion, don't forget to leave that in the comment box below because I talk back, baby. That's how we get, that's how we get what we got to get in this world, man. Networking, networking, and networking, baby. Listen, man, I got an unboxing for y'all. I want to go ahead and get it done. Y'all gonna be excited for this one. I'm just all I'm gonna say. Watch this heat. Okay, 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 okay. We got old ice spice in the cut, y'all. We got old ice spice in the cut. You know what time it is, don't you? <laughs> you know what time it is, don't you? Y'all know we've been having this stupid music in here, man. Y'all know we've been having this stupid music in here, man, right? Hmm? Y'all know we've been having this stupid music in here now. So. I'm gonna go ahead and do this unboxing because it's the end of the day, but I'm, I'm gonna turn it. I'm gonna turn y'all back on in the morning because the sun is going down right now and it's getting a little cold. So it's time for me to go ahead and knock this out and get through, man. I've been working hard today, but uh, I got an unboxing for y'all, man. It's for the music for Ice Spice. This is something that's gonna take us to the next level. You dig? Hoo wee! Yes, sir. What y'all think that is? Leave it. In, leave. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you think that is. Huh? Huh? Let me know what you think that is in that big box right there. I know you ain't gonna know what these are, but let me know, it come from Sky High. I promise y'all something and I got it for y'all, man. You know what I'm talking about? I promise y'all something and I got it for y'all, man. I got it for myself, I got it for the channel, I got it for the entertainment and all that, man. Watch this heat, I ain't lying. Hey, don't forget, go subscribe to the channel. Go subscribe to the channel, man. You don't wanna miss none of this heat. I ain't even gonna beg you, man. You ain't gonna wanna miss none of this heat. Listen, quick unboxing, man. Quick unboxing before I go in the house tonight. Let y'all know what we got going on. Alternator in, baby. High output alternator. As y'all know, I got all that stupid music and that lithium battery in there running off this 1985 Chevy 305. I think 85, 90 amp alternator, if that. Y'all know that voltage is real low on these old school 305s and small blocks and stuff. Nowhere near the uh, the amperage to push what I got in this car, man. And it's ridiculous. But I'm getting I've been getting tired of dealing with it and driving my car. My volts is going down to nine volts and crap like that. And I'm I'm risking blowing up my music that I paid all that money for. So boom, I ain't even opened it. Yet. I, I, I busted open and I ain't even opened it yet. So this what we got. It's the first thing I seen. I ain't seen nothing past these two pieces of paper. That one there and this one. I said, you know what? Let me turn this video on. For these subscribers because they've been wanting to know they've been asking and they've been needing to hear this man what go down no time look at this check it out i'm gonna let you read it for yourself alternator test report yes sir 10 12 you know what i'm talking about 320 v built oh yeah so sitting at 800 rpms we we, we we running at 171 amps so once we rev that thing up to about 2000 that thing pushing 329 ounces. Ooh, wee, that's what I need, baby. That's what I need, baby. I can't wait. All right, I voted set point. RPM test throughout the RPM range starting at 600 RPMs to 4,000 RPMs at 14.8 volts. Fixed voted set point. Ooh, to the wee. Yes, sir. Okay, let's, let's keep on moving. Okay, they gave me a brand X sticker. I like that. Might stick it on my box somewhere. What you got? What's this in? I think it's the uh, regulator bypass or something. You know what I'm saying? Some little small directions. How to plug this thing for Ford, GM, Volkswagen, Audi, Toyota, Honda, Nissan, Ford. So we're gonna be using the GM. You know what I'm talking about? We're gonna be using GM. But yeah, I ain't really tripping about that. I pretty, I pretty much know what I'm doing. When it comes to wiring it up. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Man, I can't even get it out. Y'all, let me uh 
put the phone down, and I'll bring y'all right back. All right, y'all, I got that thing out. I ain't gonna lie, I thought them boys were gonna send me some, like a lanyard or something, but they didn't. They, I got a sticker, so I'm pleased and happy. I'm happy I got it. Oh, oh, okay. 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 <laughs> Ooh, that thing pretty. Ooh, that thing pretty. <laughs> yes, sir. Hey, listen. That thing was expensive, but I hope it do the job, baby. Yes, sir. That thing was expensive, but I hope it do the job. I ain't lying, y'all. Let's see that plug. Got three wires on the plug. I think I got two wires on my plug, but I don't know. We'll see. Some type of way this song gonna go on here. And I got a few more goodies for it too, man. I got a little surprise for y'all now. I got two more little boxes over here now. I got two more little boxes over here now. Okay. Now what we gonna do is, we gonna put that old bracket on there, that billet bracket. Yeah, sir. We gonna put that billet adjustable bracket on that thing, man. You know what I'm saying? We gonna put that billet adjustable bracket on that thing. And we gonna delete the smog pump and get rid of all that emissions up under the hood. So we're gonna do all that tomorrow in the morning. First thing in the morning when I turn the camera back on, it's going down. Watch this heat. I'm talking about hit that subscribe button, man. Hit that thumbs up for your boy. I ain't playing no game. This thing was like four something. I got on Black Friday and I use um, uh, Jacob Varro uh, coupon uh, code too. Got a little bit off, and about $5 off. And then I got the Black Friday special. But not only did I get the alternator and the bracket, the billet bracket to go with it. Whoo, look at this, y'all. I didn't need to get this, but I did now. I did, I did now. Hey, man, listen. Y'all leave a comment down below if you know what this is. I know some of my boys gonna already know what this is before I pull it out. Ooh, wait. You see that? You see that? You see that? Yes, Lord. You know? Ooh. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. That's gonna go on there like that. Yes, Lord. That's gonna go on there like that. Hopefully it fit. Y'all say a prayer for me that it fit. Ooh wee. Yes, Lord. I'm gonna try to make that thing look a little bit better. Uh-huh. Yeah, I got the uh I got the billet uh V-Bell alternator pulley too to go with it, man. So I'm gonna try to spruce this little five three, I mean this little this little 305 up a little bit while she running good. I want to LS swap it, but the car running so good, we're going to leave it alone and we're going to just ride, man, and enjoy the car. AC work, heat work, all this, everything works. So we're just going to ride and enjoy this car and finish it, man. We're going to finish painting and all this stuff we got to go, we got to do to it. So, yeah, man, I ain't even going to hold y'all too long. We're going to get to this action in the morning. Y'all see what's going down? Y'all see what's going down? We. All right, YouTube, <clears throat> it's the morning time, baby. See that sun coming up through them trees? As promised, it's time to get on Old Ice Spice and get this charging system to the next level. I got everything ready, man. I got the new out out here. I got to I gotta tell y'all something about that right now, man. I got to tell y'all something about that in just a second, just a second. As you can see, man, we got do all over the windows everywhere. I'm talking about this early. I done started me a fire. I done started me a fire that way I can keep my hands warm from working on this car. You know what I'm saying? I got the tripod out here so I can give y'all some POV footage. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, I'm gonna get started early. I'm gonna try to knock mine out early so I can go do some more things. I need to work on the dual. I need to put a water pump on the dual today. I worked on the 300 yesterday. I need to um, I need to get started on the wagon. So yeah, got a lot of stuff to do, man. It's time to get all the rest of these leaves up. As you can see, I've been blowing yesterday. So I'm gonna finish blowing later on today. Try to clean this up so we can have a nice clean area going on the winter. Cause all the leaves are falling off and we about done with that. But anyway, back to old Ice Spice, y'all. All right now, y'all know we've been running this stock alternator, man. Y'all know we've been running this stock alternator. It's time to get this crap off of here. Look at that. That thing not charging worth of crap. Every time the bang drops, it drops voltage so horrible. And the only reason why I've been able to drive and play the music and enjoy it halfway the way I've been able to is because of that lithium. If I didn't have that lithium in there, I would be out of luck. We got the 12K, we got the 1200 watt on the mids, and we got the 400 by four on the high. Y'all know we got that big casket box built by me, tune, uh, tune to 33 hertz. Uh, and uh, we got them ZV6s in there, man. 
We got them ZV6s in there. Got a little 80 mil Dynamat, Amazon Dynamat, all the way in the bottom of the bottom lid. Uh, we got that Stinger. We got that Stinger rotating fan. And a uh, two hour welding cable all the way around with the two hour lugs and all that, man. But we need, we need that charging power. And if I ain't showed y'all yet, we have completely destroyed this trunk. Look at that. We have completely destroyed this trunk. And I'm talking about destroy that sun gun, man. And that's on stock power. That's on stock power. It's broke over there too. It's cracking over here too. It's cracking all over there. So, um, every time I get in the car and I turn the bang up, man, it um, it drops voltage horribly. So we're gonna have to get that off of there. We're gonna have to get this off of there. Put the brand X on there today. And we gotta delete the EGR system. We gotta delete the smog pump. And we gotta delete all these little, you know, emission breathers and stuff. I'm gonna have to cut those off, I believe. I don't think they're gonna come off. You see that boat back there? I don't think that's gonna come off. So I'm gonna put y'all on the tripod and we're gonna get this stuff going. But uh, yeah, I gotta take all those off. All those. They all gotta come off. So what I wanna do is. Um, I'm gonna set y'all up, but listen, man. Let me show y'all something. Last night, two things. Two things. Let's start. Let's start with this. Let's start with this first thing, man. Let's start with this first thing. Okay. Now I did buy. I showed y'all that I bought the little old pretty, pretty pulley. I bought this pretty little pulley. You know what I'm saying? I bought this pretty little pulley. And I put it on last night, tried to put it on, but it's too wide, man. It's so much wider than that stock pulley that it will not fit. It was on there, but it was too tight and it was it was just, it was rubbing a little bit. So we're not even gonna worry about that. We're gonna try to do something different. You know what I'm saying, down the line. One more thing, so that, that's not too big because I didn't need that to put this on this car. But one more thing, guys, check this out. So I'm looking at the alternator last night. Just checking it out, going over happy, sitting there watching TV and, you know, just looking at the alternator. So, I look at it and I'm looking at these boats. I want y'all to pay attention, y'all. Now, pay attention. I hope y'all ain't got nothing to do right now at this second. You see this boat right here? It's flush up against the alternator, right? Boom. It's flush. It's tight. Okay. Let's keep going. Sky High Audio and uh, Brand X. This is pitiful, y'all, for how much these alternators cost. Y'all see it already. You see this screw here? You see this screw here? Look at that. You see my little flathead right here, little small, tiny flathead? You see how I can get that flathead in there? Look at that. Okay, let's spin it around. It has four bolts in it. Now, that's two. All right, let's spin it around. Look at this one. It's so high, I don't even need the flathead. Look at that. Look at that. I mean, the case is not even bolted all the way down, y'all. Brand X, y'all. Brand X. I don't care because... I spent too much money for this alternator for it to come like this, and this this is unacceptable. Look at this, look, look at this boat loose. Watch, watch this. Look real close. Let me see if the camera pick it up. See that boat moving? You can see that. You can see that on camera. It's only one boat tight on this whole damn alternator, man, and it doesn't make sense. Four hundred dollars on an alternator, and the boats you only got one boat that's super tight. And then another thing, when you open, when you when you buy the alternator and they send it, as I showed y'all yesterday. They send you a test report of the alternator. Now, on this test report, a te this test report says and it states that they went over this alternator and they expected this alternator and it is 100% it, it ready to go and intact. As y'all can see on camera, I know damn well y'all don't think I'm crazy enough to back boats out. And you can see, you can't get really get to this boat unless you pull this back plate off with these three screws right here that hasn't been taken off by J Spice because that's completely stupid for me to do. So you know it came like this because I seen it at the end after I got through playing with it, looking at it, looking at it, got ready to put my kids to bed and started looking at it. The kids was asking me how I looked and I showed them and as I was showing my kids, I, I looked at that I said, what? So I'm not even going to complain about it right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to charge it to the game as of now and I'm going to try to get these tightened. That's what I'm gonna do in a second. I'm gonna try to get these boats tightened down a little bit more, and I'm gonna put the alternator on. If I have any problems out of this alternator, I'm telling you, I'm finna file a claim, I'm sending this back, and I'm, I'm telling you, man, it's gonna be some, because it got lost in the mail, and I've waited on this alternator for a long time, and it's been a whole process getting this alternator. But it's here, 
and I'm gonna stop whining about it. So let's get this dang thing on this car. Oh, and I got the uh, bracket too. I gotta put the chrome bracket on there. Uh, yeah. So yeah, man. Y'all stay tuned. Let's get some of this work done. Watch this heat. All right, y'all. I got that old stock thing off. Look at that. I got that old dead 1985. Uh, non charging. Can't keep up with the new age alternator off though, y'all. And it sound, isn't it? That? Can y'all hear it? That song gonna sound horrible. But yeah, we got that old thing off. And I done prefabbed this brand X on there. And I got the bracket on there. Everything is loose right now. See, everything is loose because I'm trying to adjust a little adjustable bracket right here. That's the little adjustable bracket. Come with the bolts. You can adjust it in. You can adjust it out. I put my stock pulley back on because I couldn't use the one I bought. So I got the belt on there. As you can see, you got a little play in the belt, so you got enough room to go ahead and take up your tension. I got that one spacer in the back, bolted to the block, down to your bracket. And that's pretty much it. And it looked pretty steady. It looked pretty good, y'all. Let me know down in the comment box below what y'all think. It looked pretty decent, man, for that 305. But, uh, and I also went ahead and put my distribution block on here so I can get ready to put my, my wires back on there. It's gonna look way better than on the stock when it came on the back. It was close to the valve cover. So, yeah. Y'all, I'm saying I need to take it out. And as y'all know, them bolts was loose on my alternator coming from the factory. So I'm gonna take it back off, take all this shit back off, and I'm gonna try to see if I can get them bolts tightened on the back of this alternator. However I gotta do to do that, cause I ain't got time to be sending it back over some bolts being just loose and the alternator worked fine and all I could've did was tighten up the bolts and went on about my business. So I'm praying and I'm hoping that that's what we got going on. The bolts just need to be tightened up, somebody just slipped and didn't tighten them as much as they thought they did, and the alternator's fine. That's what I'm hoping on. So yeah, I'm gonna get this thing took off. Now I'll bring y'all back when I got it back on and ready to go on for the last time, tighten up. And finna get ready to put these hots on the Watch this eat. All right, y'all, check me out. Now y'all know, I showed y'all how the alternator had them loose bolts on it, every one of them, except for one. So, I got my little Allen wrench keys right there. I tighten them up, every one of them tighten up real snug. Every one of them, none of them was scripted out of there. So, I'm showing y'all so you know when you try to go buy one of these, you know what you're looking for, you know what you're getting. I'm for the people, man. Hey, hey, listen. This is what it is. But they all tighten up and everything look good. So we passed that test. So everything all right so far. Next thing I'm gonna do, we're gonna get this thing put back on, get all these boats tucked up, and then we'll bring it back and see how it looks. But everything, so far, everything, everything good. We're gonna see what them votes looking like once we get this this shit put together and get this, this emission system off of here. But yeah, they got me they got me a little skeptical about this though. I don't know. We gotta see how it is in the end. But right now, we a little skeptical. Watch this heat. For real. Alright y'all. I got that thing installed on there. Got them lugs on there with that distribution block. Got the wire hooked up. Right here, everything looking good. Got your bracket, bolted up. Now the only thing I did have to do, I did have to add two washers on the back of that thing because it didn't want to go all the way in the block. So I had to add two washers there, but I got it bolted up. I got it tightened down and it looked pretty good. The only thing I don't like is these things, these bolts are kind of extended out pretty far. So uh, that's the only thing I kind of don't like but it's, it feel like it's sturdy and it looks sturdy it look even it look pretty good and it's a hell of an upgrade so i can't complain just yet i just tried to crank it but the battery did so right now i got that thing on the charger got that thing on the charger so i'm gonna have to let it do what it do for a little while and then we'll come back and see if she'll crank and see what the votes looking like and see if they stand on their word brand x we depending on you watch this heat all right y'all that darn battery was dead and i done i done went over here and changed the uh, water pump i did a water pump job and everything man so it's been charging about 45 minutes i guess let's see if that thing is crank Let's 
see if this thing crank. And what the volts looking like. Ladies and saving. Go check it I'm gonna check on my, I think that little wire on there is not. Oh, uh, I gotta check that wire. Hold on, man, let me go check this wire. I'll bring y'all right back. Sheesh. All right, gang, we back on the ice spice on another morning. <clears throat> we left off, we was having a problem trying to figure out trying to get that alternator to charge, but it's been a few days, I ain't gonna lie. I got that thing to charge. I bought a new belt and I got it figured out. It's cold, it's early in the morning, we're gonna get a cold start on this thing, I ain't started it, I ain't had the battery on the charger, nothing. So, we're gonna get a fresh, we're gonna get a both, we're we gonna all get a POV of what the alternator doing, and I'm gonna show y'all what I had to do to get the alternator to charge. Let's see where we at. We're 12.9, that's looking pretty good now, let's see. Now we got it charging, y'all. See what I'm saying? Now she's charging like she's supposed to. Now she's charging like she's supposed to, y'all. Yeah, she get to crawling up there real soon. on it but now she's charging as you can see anytime an alternator is charging that thing is supposed to suck it's supposed to have it's supposed to be magnetized watch it shit shit that thing threw that thing away from me but yeah that's how that thing is supposed to do y'all <laughs> that motherfucker took it from me but I also got all that um I also took all that emission trap off of it that small pump all them wires all them hoses Cut all this crap off, took all that stuff off. There go the old alternator, all them old uh, vacuums and all that stuff. And what I did was, for the time being, I just flipped them off like that right there. That's all I did to them. I'm gonna take them and I'm gonna make them clean. I'm gonna cut them down and I'm gonna make them look better. I might put fittings in them, but for right now, I think that thing all right right now. Yeah, man, she looking good. That thing done started charging for me. And I think I'm pleased with that alternator right now. I think I'm pleased with it, y'all. Especially after that thing just took my, my screwdriver from me. Let's see where we at now. 
still sitting at 13 now. That's cause the battery, man. My battery need to be charged up. But it's all good. Let me see, I'll bring y'all back when I get that battery voltage to come up a little bit. All right, y'all been letting it sit here about five, 10 minutes. Check me out. Yes, yeah, sir. Yes, yeah, sir, we where we supposed to need to be, baby. We pro, yes, sir. We where we need to be, baby. I just had to let that thing charge up for a minute, man. We where we need to be, baby. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Brand X. Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about. We doing good, we looking good, baby. Yes, sir. Time to knock the trunk off this thing, man. All right, YouTube, y'all see what go down, man. We got that thing to charge. We got that brand X on there, man. We ain't having no more voltage problem. We sitting at 14.8. Sometimes that thing be want to jump up to 14.9. I ain't liking that, but it's all good. I'm going to put a resistor on this thing or whatever you call them little son bitches. I'm going to put one on it. But look, man, we hit it in the right motion, baby. We got that We got that demo video coming, man. Y'all make sure y'all hit that subscribe button, man. Click that notification bell so you won't miss. Never miss none of this good content I got coming, man. You don't want to miss it, man. Just click that notification bell. That way you go automatically get notified when your boy drop, man. And hey, man, leave a thumbs up on the video if you like the content, man, that you're watching or you don't ever watch, man. Just make sure you do that for your boy. You know what I'm talking about? Just help YouTube know that you like my video. You know what I'm talking about? You know, man, if you got any questions, comments, or opinion, y'all leave it in the comments box below, baby, because I talk back and it goes down. Big Panorama, big 550 star lights in that big box Chevy. Now, time out. Watch this heat. Watch this heat. Don't go nowhere, baby. Oh!